Andreas here from macOS 10 screencast.com. In this uh, screencast, it's going to be again about Keyboard Maestro. These are the Keyboard Maestro tips too, and I got plenty of <laughs> more uh, tips for you coming. Um, I've divided this screencast into two parts. The first part is exclusively about selecting text, manipulating text, um, and all that stuff. And the second section is about the finder itself, selecting files, renaming files, and all that sort of stuff. I hope you like this screencast. So I found this very, very helpful Keyboard Maestro action, which is called Filter Clipboard in Keyboard Maestro. And this is very, very cool. So let's say we want to create a Keyboard Maestro macro, which transforms selected text to lowercase. We create a new uh, macro, which is being activated by the uh, status menu. And then we go from the, mac uh, for the, from the category sections to the clipboard. And here is filter clipboard. And from the menu down here, you, we can select a couple of things w which are very, very handy, like uh, trim white spaces. We can uh, make, make make Mac line endings, sorry. We can transform select, uh, select the text to uppercase, lowercase, capitalize it, or title case it. We can smarten quotes or um, uh, straighten them. We can also, this is quite handy, we can encode HTML entities. And we, and we can also do character count, word count, and line count. So in my case, I want to make the text lowercase. And this filters the clipboard. So in order to have this thing up and running, we need to get something onto the clipboard and get something down from the clipboard. So I create two other actions which simply type the keystroke uh, command C. And then after we filtered the clipboard, we need to paste the results back into our editor. So when I go now to text made, we can make this select the text. This is how it works. First, you have to select the text, and then go to the menu, select lowercase, and you see the text is transformed to lowercase. You can do the same thing with uppercase and for the count things, I've chosen not to paste it back, but rather it displays a ground notification. And this is also set up very, very straightforward. So when we go to the count characters macro, at the bottom, you see I don't paste the text back, but I have a growl character count action here, which simply, where I simply insert a token, which is called current clipboard. So when I execute this action, you see this ground notification coming up with character count at the top and the character count obviously at the bottom. So I hope you like these two uh, things already, but I got even more. Now the next thing I'd like to show you is the, my edit and text made version. So this is a bit uh, more complicated to set up than uh, the other uh, keyboard macro, uh, keyboard maestro macros. So my idea was to get rid of the, these ugly and evil input manager, which is called edit and text made. So I created my own kind of implementation. So this is how it works. So let's say you're in a web browser text field. I'm here on Stack Overflow. And let's say I want to edit this text in edit uh, in text made. So I just hit my assigned keyboard shortcut. This is control option E and it will open this text in a uh, text made. Now I can just, uh, let's say I want to manipulate this text by making, um, by deleting something. Let's say I want to delete this. And I want to paste this text now back to uh, Safari. I just hit here option W and it will paste the text back straight to uh, Stack Overflow. Now, the way I set up this is, of course, I share all my keyboard maestro macros with you. Uh, this, uh, the the edit in text made thing simply does the following. It types uh, first, it marks everything in the text field, copies it to the clipboard, activates text made, waits a little for text made to come up, then it may creates a new document, waits again, and then simply pastes the text there. So this is a kind of a cheat, but it works great. Um, and the other macro we are calling, this is called uh, edit in text made. And this is activated or this is only working in text made. So I have, can reuse this uh, kind of, yeah, this shortcut in other 
uh, applications. And this does basically almost the same thing. It does command A, it selects everything, copies again everything to the clipboard, closes the window, command D says textmate or call, uh, yeah, says textmate, I don't want to save the current document. This action now then switches to the last application. You can pick this action from um, the list here, which is uh, yeah process control. And here you have the action switch to last application. Just pick this one. It waits then and pastes the text back. So as I said, this is kind of a cheat, but it works astonishingly great. So I've got two kind of very helpful or hopefully helpful uh, finder actions for you. Uh, this one's called select files. I activate this one with hitting control S in the finder. So your window coming up and there can enter a pattern where of files I want to select. So I can select uh, the football file here with uh, food uh, asterisk or I can, could food this uh, kind of selection, so I have both uh, files selected, or I could select Crick. I hope you get how this thing works. And this is very easy. I use a file called L select, which you can download from here. I, this works perfect f within other applications as well, but it's, um, I mean, it's working astonishingly great in Keyboard Maestro. And there's how you set up. I have my finder group, which works only in the finder. I select files, or I have this macro, macro here, which is called select files, activated with control S, and it simply executes this select files script. I've modified the script a bit to work together with Keyboard Maestro because there were changes how Peter handle, handles those, let me just show you these dialogues. Uh, in order to make Keyboard Maestro more stable, uh, so you want, want, may want to download my select files Apple script uh, rather than downloading his L select script. I've contacted this guy already, but he didn't uh, actually got back to me. So, well, okay. Anyway, I have two other uh, uh, Keyboard Maestro uh, micros I want to share with you. They are for renaming files easily. So let's say I want to rename this file or this file. Uh, I just hit Control R. This brings up the dialog, telling me to replace something. You see, it already has a white space in there. So this script is really optimized to just simply make files web safe by replacing white spaces with underscores. But in this case, we want to replace O with let's say underscores. Uh, so you see now this script has renamed this file with underscores. Uh, to replace white spaces with underscores, I have another macro uh, just, to s just to show you how this script can be uh, customized to your own needs. This one's called replace white space with, with underscore. And from the script, you go just down here and you see these two lines which make up the replace mechanism and here you can put in everything so if you want to replace O's, O's which as we just had with underscores this is set up very easily just enter everything here you want to rename here and then create a new macro it's called uh, control minus and this simply executes this apple script let me just execute it and you see Keyboard Maestro has put uh, uh, underscore where previously uh, Whitespace was. I hope you enjoyed the second part of my Keyboard Maestro tips. I have more tips to come. Um, I'm already planning the fourth fourth part of this uh, Keyboard Maestro tips section on Mac OS X screencasts. And yeah, just leave me some comments how you like them. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>